So we're going to take this image of Walter and we're going to blur out the background to mimic depth of field and also cut down on the distraction. I'm going to double click from bridge. Um, this image has already been edited in RAW, but if it had not been edited, edited in RAW, you could right click to open in camera RAW. And I just did some basic adjustments, nothing fancy. Give them a little more, a little more sass. Instead of hitting open image, I'm going to hit the shift and open object. That will open it in Photoshop as a smart object. Okay. Now, what I need to do is duplicate this layer. Layer, duplicate layer. Okay. On this layer, I am going to, they're already, we don't have to convert for smart filters because they're already smart objects. I'm going to blur, Gaussian blur. Now for this demo, I'm gonna do it a lot just so you can see, but typically you wouldn't go this crazy because it's gonna look artificial. And hit okay. So now we have one layer on top with a Gaussian blur applied to it. And then we've got this layer, and we're going to grab the um, original layer, go to Filter, Sharpen, Unsharp Mask, and we're going to sharpen that a little bit. If you hover over this little window, we'll push down the hand, you can see how much you are sharpening it. I play with the amount, don't usually go over 100, and leave it at the radius of 1 and um, threshold of 0. If we increase the radius, you can see it starts to get a little weirdly HDR. So I like to keep it down low. Okay. Now, this smart filter comes with a free layer mask. So grab your brush, black and white. Make sure the mode is normal. Opacity is 100. And then hit X. I want to do the opposite of what I just did. I am going to reveal the sharp puppy that exists on the bottom layer. Let's call this layer sharp. We'll call this layer blur. So you can see I have just hid the puppy from the effects of that blur, but it does look pretty artificial. So what we can do is around the edges, with the layer mask selected, bring down the opacity of the brush to make sure that it's not cut and paste because that's not how Aperture works. And I may want to select things that are just a little bit behind him or next to him that it would make sense would still be slightly in focus, right? Because he's sitting on it, I think he's sitting on the bed it would make sense that these things here were still kind of in focus, but the background can be much less out of focus. So you can see that the gray area is the brush at 50%. I'm gonna take the brush down to 17 and then do the rest. Making sure to go over my edges so that it does not look cut and paste. <coughs> so now you're creating emphasis by just having the dog in sharp focus, but you're also blending out the background so it does not look artificial. And if it still does look a little artificial, you can bring down the opacity of that blur layer a little bit. But you can see that that brings it out and brings the emphasis up here. And if you think you went too far and you need to edit it, all you've got to do is select that layer mask, play with the opacity of the brush, and you can add or subtract any blur in. So if I bring the brush up to 100, it's gonna really add that blur in, which I think is too much. So I'm gonna bring the brush to 40. <coughs> there you go. Before and after. 